guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 3 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Write the following in exponential, exponential form. Um, and here's an example. 100 equals 10 to the power of 2. So why it's 10 to the power of 2 is because in 100 there is there are two zeros, so then it's to the power of 2. So let's try with the 1,000. So 1,000 has three zeros, so then it would be 10 to the power of 3. And B, 10 times 10 would be 100. So there's two zeros, so 100 or 10 times 10 would be 10 to the power of 2. All right, and C, 100,000. Um, 100,000 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, zeros. So then 100,000 would be 10 to the power of 5. And D, 100 times 10 would be 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3. Because there's three zeros. And E, we have a million, would be 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then f will be 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, number two. Also, above, the main idea was just like how many zeros are in the number, and that's why. That's how we got the little number on top. Number two, write the following in standard form. All right, so a, we have 4 times 10 to the power of 3. So that would be 4. And then to the power of 10 to the power of 3, so we know 10 to the power of 3 is basically 3, 0. So then 4 times 10 to the power of 3. Also, 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. So then that would be 4,000. And then 64 times 10 to the power of 4, um, that would be 10,000. So 64 times 10,000 would be... 640,000. And C, 5,300 divided by 10 to the power of 2, which is 100. So take away two zeros, and that would be 53. And D, 5,300,000 divided by 10 to the power of 3. That's 1,000. So then take away three zeros, that would be 5,300. All right, and E, we have 6. Sorry, 6.072 times 10 to the power of 3. Then we move it the decimal point three spots to the right. So that'd be 1, 2, 3. So that'd be 6,072. And F is 60.72 times 10 to the power of 4. That's 10,000. So that'd be 1, 2, 6,072, but we have two more zeros, so then we just add the zeros, 3, 4. So that would be 607,200. All right, and G, we have 948 divided by 1,000, 10 to the power of 3. So our decimal point was here, so we just move the three spaces to the left. So that would be 1, 2, 3. So our answer is 0 0.948. And H, 9.4 divided by 10 to the power of 2, which is 100. 9.4, move it 1, 2. So then it would be 0 0.094. All right, and number 3, we have 0 0.02. And then after that, it goes to 0 0.2. So it basically decreased by like 10. Not 10, but like 1 tenth. Um... Wait, no, it increased by one tenth, actually, right? Nope. It increased by ten, basically, because it's moved one space to the left. So now we continue the pattern. So 0 0.2, if we move it, um, if we shift it one to the left, then that would be 2. So then now we just add 0. So add 0, that would be 20. And another 0 would be 200. And another 0 would be 2,000. All right, and B, 3,400,000 goes to 34,000. So notice how the zeros decreased by like two zeros. So basically, it got divided by 100. So now this number divided by 100 would be 340. 
And if we divide that, that by 100, we would be 1, 2. So that would be 3.4. And divide by 100 would be 1, 2. So 0 0.034. And C, um, we don't have a number here, but we can look at these two. So 85.7 went to 8.57. So the decimal point went 1. It shifted 1 to the left. So now this one, um, it shifted, yeah, over here shifted one to the left. So then it basically just got smaller. So if we're doing 85.7, then we would do 857. So it basically is doing times 10. So then that, and then if we move that way times 10, that'd be 8,570, and then times 10 again would be 85,700. And, but the real pattern is actually um, like one tenth. So if we go that way, then we move this one more. That'd be 0 0.857. All right, and D, the pattern's kind of obvious. We're just adding the zeros. So then 44,400 would go to 444,000. And from that, it would go to. 4,440,000. From that, it would go to 44,400,000. And E, we have 9.5. 9.5, it went to, it, it basically multiplied by 100. And this one also multiplied by 100. So if we go backwards, then that would be 0 0.095 times 100 would be 9.5, and then times 100 times 100. So now times 100 again, 9,500,000, 9, then times 100 again, I think it was like, I think it's like 950 million, yeah, 950 million, so yeah, all right. Next page. Number four. After a lesson on exponents, Tia went home and said to her mom, I learned that 10 to the power of 4 is the same as 40,000. She has made a mistake in her thinking. Use words, numbers, or place value chart to help Tia correct her mistake. <sighs> Tia. Okay, so 10 to the power of 4. So I get her mistake because she thinks 10 to the power of 4 is like 10 times 40, but then like add like four zeros. But 10 to the power of four is actually 10 times 10, four times. That'd be one, two, three, four. And if we do that, notice how there's one, two, three, four zeros. So your answer would be 10,000. So that's what 10 to the power of four is. 10 to the power of four. So what her mistake was, um, she thought that it was like 10 times four, but then add like four zeros because there's four zeros. So that would be her mistake. So we can write, yeah, thought, like she thought it was, Basically, like, 10,000 times 4. But instead, it was basically just 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. All right, and number 5. Solve 247 divided by 10 to the power of 2. And 247 times 10. 10 to the power of 2. Divide by 10 to the power of 2 and times it to the power of 2. So 247 for dividing by 10 to the power of 2, that would be 100. So divide by 100, we would go 1, 2. So our decimal point would be right there. So we would have 2.47. But then if we're going to multiply it by 10 to the power of 2, 
is 100, then we add two zeros. So that would be 24,700. So what is different about the two answers? Well, um, when multiplying by 10 to the power of 2, it goes right, like you shift right. And But then when multiplying, when dividing by 10 to the power of 2, you shift... Wait, did I say shift right? No, when you're multiplying, yeah. When you're multiplying, the decimal point would go right. But then when you're dividing, the decimal point would go left. So you can write that. Multiplying the power of two, the decimal point goes right, but when dividing, it goes left, period. All right, and B. Based on the answers from the pair of expressions above, solve 247 divided by 10 to the power of 3 and 247 times 10 to the power of 3. All right, well, 247 divided by 10 to the power of 3 is basically 1,000. So that's the whole point is here, and we're dividing by 1,000. So that would be 1, 2, 3. So our decimal point would go there. So our answer is 0. 0.0. 0.247 and multiplying by 10 to the power of 3 which is basically 1000 you just write the same number but you add three zeros so your answer is 247,000 so yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.